This is question 12. Here we're told the diagram shows a regular pentagon A, B, C, D, E. The pentagon is divided into five isosceles triangles. And we're told that OA is equal to OB, is equal to OC, OD, OE, and that this is six meters. So these lengths here, OA, OE, OD, and so on, they're, they're all the same size. Then we're asked to work out the area of the pentagon. Now, what we are going to do in order to work this out is if we can work out the area of one of the triangles, then what I can say is that all of these triangles are exactly the same size. And so if I work out the area of one of the triangles, I can just take that area, for example, OBC, the area of that triangle, and simply times it by 5. So is there a way that I can work out the area of one of the triangles? And what I need to do here is think, well, do I know the height of my triangle? And the answer to that is no, I don't. I don't know what the height of the triangle is. So that means that I can't use base times height divided by 2. But I can use the formula half AB sine C. And I can use this formula because, so this is a formula for the area of a triangle, and I can use this formula because I know two lengths which are trapping an angle. So two lengths trapping an angle, I've got that as six meters there. I know that all of these are the same size, so I can say that that is six meters as well. And then what I can say is that I've got two lengths, six and six, which are trapping the angle, in this case, AOB. And I just need to be able to work out what that angle is. Now, because what I've got here is angles around a point, what I can say is that, well, to figure out what this angle there is going to be, I can just do 360 degrees, the number of angles around a point, and divide that by the number of angles that I've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So 360 divided by five. And that is going to give me an answer of uh, 72. So what I can say is that that angle there is going to be 72 degrees. And now I can just use half AB sine C to work out what that area of the triangle is going to be. So half multiplied by the two lengths which are trapping the angle. So half multiplied by six, multiplied by six, multiplied by the sine of the angle that is being trapped. So that's sine 72. So typing this in, half multiplied by six, multiplied by six, multiplied by sine 72, and that's going to give me an answer of 17.1. So the area for one of these triangles, the area for just one of the triangles is 17.1. So that's the area for the triangle that I've just worked out. And what I can say is that, well, I've got five of these. So I'm just gonna take my answer and multiply that by five. And so the area of my pentagon, correct to one decimal place, is going to be the amount that I worked out earlier, multiplied by five, and that's gonna give me 85.595. So my final answer here, the area for the pentagon is going to be 85.6, correct to one decimal place. So 85.6 correct to one decimal place, and that is in metres squared.